really useful day, yeah, it's uh, really, been really good. It'll help me give advice to my patients. Yeah, I've enjoyed it. I work for the Prostate Cancer Charity on the helpline, so we get a lot of calls around PSA testing and all the issues about whether we should screen or not screen, so it's, it's been really helpful. There's a bigger issue about PSA testing. We know there's a huge reservoir of men in this country who don't understand what the PSA test is. So we come back to the Prostate Cancer Charity's mission statement. And when you look at what this meeting is about, it's about new directions of travel. It's where are we going and where will we be in five years' time? I am glad I met this man because he was the man that actually helped me, motivated my life to move forward. Very, very interesting. And I will actually get quite a lot of different opinions from other members that are coming. So, um, you know, I have to learn a lot. Uh, well, I've enjoyed all of it, um, it, really. I mean, all the speakers have been very, very good. The essentialist man rests on what we call hegemonic masculinity. Just want to remind you of David again. <laughs> interesting to hear, um, especially about the hormone refractory side of things, because that's a real problem. A very informative two days and it's, it's also sort of good to network and see other colleagues. I'm going to discuss with you, interactively, is robotics prostatectomy a better procedure? How confident are you about active surveillance? Then think about it for long, what's your gut feeling? Are you happy, it's safe, no problems? Really, deep down, are you a bit anxious? Do you have the resources to cope with the increased number of MRIs that you're doing? The scanner was chock-a-block with backs, knees, and all other and sundry of musculoskeletal. And then the government decided that cancer should be a target. I have managed to persuade one of my senior clinical colleagues to start writing probable prostate cancer and to send them for an MRI. There has been a significant variation in current treatment practice and this trial and the recently published Vidmark Swedish trial, we've now had two studies in the last 18 months showing the benefit of radiotherapy in addition to hormones in locally advanced prostate cancer. So Dr. Romano, here's a picture quiz for you. What is that a picture of? I think that's one of your already snaps, Dr. Jones. <laughs> It's a boat. It was a boat. <laughs> <laughs> it is indeed a fine sea vessel. This, to me, is a patient who is not really benefiting from hormones. And we knew that from pretty early on. Plate counts already falling, and you've missed the boat. I was scared, I was frightened. And I went and I had the test. So my surgeon really explained to me the process and what I had to do. It took you open my eyes because I know that there's life after prostate cancer because what you've actually achieved. <laughs>